Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages uh, 12, 8, and 6. <laughs> um, so we are, we have just started our seventh year of homeschooling and today I wanted to share our curriculum picks for seventh grade for my oldest daughter. Um, this is kind of a series I did post um, previously um, different subjects of what we were using. Of course, that was months ago, and of course, things change in the, the summer when you're busy planning and getting things um, scheduled out and everything like that. So um, these are our picks for seventh grade. Um, as of now, I know things can totally change even as the months go on, whether things will work or not. So um, this is what we have initially started with. to add a quick little video in here. Um, I know you're watching the curriculum picks, but I wanted to remind you of the two giveaways that we have going on currently. So I have um, Monday's video that I will link, and that is the Christian book $100 giveaway. And then also Guest Hollow's giveaway is for any one free curriculum of your choice from Guest Hollow. I will link that video below as well. That was from third grade curriculum picks. And that is going on until Saturday. The Christian book one is going on until Friday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. And then Gus Hollows is going on until Saturday. So make sure you enter those two contests. I'm gonna start with language arts. So that encompasses a whole bunch of things um, like literature, grammar, spelling, vocabulary. Is the four, you know, main things. Um, so she is in seventh grade and she's doing so well with spelling, but I thought, you know, I could kind of stop her with spelling, which that was my original plan. But I decided to pick up IEW, um, this is Phonetic Zoo, um, their, their cards and stuff. So um, I found it second hand pretty cheap and they have three levels basically in one but you would need like the c cds or something for um each of the levels so originally i bought it for level c which i knew that we weren't ready for level c yet um and then i found level a used as well so now i have two sets of cards but i also have two sets of the cd levels so um that is for spelling now for vocabulary I didn't love all of like the vocabulary like workbooks necessarily um if it comes to it then we will go back to it I we've never used them so I can't say whether they are good or bad um but what I found was um word up from compass classroom they have sales so often um I will link it down below it's an it is an affiliate link for me um but they they have sales all the time um but they have these videos and we I just purchased the first video just to see what what we think of it it's streaming um you I think you can purchase it in video form as well dvd form um and it's like he's going through the greek and latin word root words of different things so he has like 10 lessons in each video so what I did with that vocabulary I found on teachers pay teachers a site that was, I'll have to link that one as well. Um, let's get to the root of it. Um, and so I found these pages that kind of have go along with it. This one, oh, I messed up. Um, so it comes and it has all of the words and um, you have a couple different activities. So she's gonna watch the videos that have nothing to do with these necessarily. Well, the words, pretty much match up. So I've kind of matched them up to these weeks and then she'll come the rest of the week and do these activities um, that you have there. And then they have um, like a matching game for like the definitions and the, the roots and stuff. And then also on WordUp, you have access to like Quizlet and it has some quiz things that you can do kind of like refreshing on there. So um, that is what I will have her do for vocabulary. Then, oh, one extra 
side thing if we want to fill in a little bit and have a little extra fun. She will continue with her word ladders from last year. She didn't finish them, but this is kind of like an extra fun thing, but not necessarily part of her curriculum. So for grammar, um, she will be doing es essentials in writing. She does have some grammar in here, but it's not a ton. And typically they actually schedule it for the first part of the year and then you would do the writing the second half. I have alternated the schedule to rotate back and forth between writing and grammar because um, I want her to still do some writing early on in the year and not like be overwhelmed the second half. So this is our second year using right, uh, except essentials in writing. And she really loves it. Like she's already started it this year and she's like, oh, I started it and I got to write a little bit. And um, like their first lesson is writing like a paragraph and stuff. And so she liked that. She loves the videos and stuff. And she was like already going on about that. So, um, so grammar is in here plus writing. We do really like their writing. The videos are short. Um, I can link a video to Essentials in Writing 6, my flip through of that. Um, we are doing Fix-It Grammar this year. Um, last year we had previously done Daily Grams from Easy Grammar. Um, I liked that okay and I think she did, she grew to like it too, but um, I didn't think it was really teaching her and so I wanted something that was like, would teach her and would be quick. So we're doing Fix-It Grammar. So far I think she likes it. And then for the literature component, we are adding in essentials and literature. So um, she will be like doing like short stories. Um, I think there's fiction and nonfiction poetry. There's a novel they're gonna read, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. So um, all of that is in here. Um, one thing that happens with, I bought the PDF, but um, it didn't come with a novel with a PDF, but um, if you buy the printed version, you will get the novel. Um, the only thing is you don't have the other pieces that they have to read through the year, but on their Facebook group, they do have like it linked and stuff, different files and stuff that you can print. So I've already printed off all the things that she needs to read this year for this class. One other thing I forgot to mention with essentials in writing, um, I have purchased the grading as well. It's like a little bit, I think it's around a hundred dollars more to purchase the grading. Um, but I thought that would be really good, especially with her like learning to write those like different papers and things. Um, I thought it would be good for her to have the feedback from someone else except besides her mom. Um, she's pretty good with my critiques, but I think it would be even better from someone she doesn't know. So um, that's why I purchased that. She will also continue with typing one um, from the good and the beautiful and move on to typing two. We have pretty much stopped doing handwriting. Like she knows her basics in cursive. And um, I thought that we don't need to do that. Um, she's most likely going to print most of the things that she writes and she has really great handwriting. So I'm just gonna kind of be um, more focused on typing this year because that is really what she's gonna need to do. And um, I know she just like likes to type anyway with like her papers and things. So I want her to have the background of typing. So, Along those lines, that's pretty much all of the books that we have, but she is going to be doing quite a bit more online. So um, some of those things are, um, we have Unlock Math, and we have been using that since I think March, February, March of this past year, and she will continue that this year. She is in Foundations. I will link a video as well of like what we thought, what we think of Unlock Math. She had been using Alex Math kind of along with that at first, but we have pretty much dropped Alex Math from from that point. Um, it was about May when we just decided to focus on Unlock Math. Um, I really think she's gonna get her um, foundations of math um, where she goes into pre-algebra. So 
we are really enjoying Unlock Math. We like their videos and everything else with that. Another thing that she is doing, we have received this from Timberdoodle. I'm on their Timberdoodle blog team. We got Science IQ Weather. It's kind of like um like a unit study for weather and it's all online. There's videos, um, there's different experiments and things. So she will be working through that. Um, she does have, like that's just like, for herself and then we have some family subjects that I will um, that I will have touched on in another video. Another one that she will be doing on her own um, is Middle Times by History Quest. Um, this is her second year of doing History Quest and we pretty much do that on our own like away from her older sister or her younger sisters um, because she just she focuses a lot better with that and um, I found like history quest was a little too much for her younger sisters. So since she's in seventh grade and um, we are in a part of a public virtual school, like I feel like she needs a little more. We don't always do all the activities for the middle times with history quest. Um, so I wanted to get her something that was like, um, goes along with it. So I did purchase this Mark Twain medieval times workbook for her. Um, it is just like, it does have some extra like reading, just like a sheet usually, and then some questions along with it. So that matched up pretty good. And then I also have like a medieval times, like this is a DK witness like workbook. So it's some of those same things where um, it has some activities that she can do along with it. Um, so that is one thing we are going to do some more history with her sisters so she's going to get kind of double whammy here um she chose not to do uh spanish with her sisters so she is doing sign language through master books academy i will like show a little picture here um that's all online she watches a video and then she practices what she has learned through the week and until she watches another video so um, it is a Christian program and she will be learning. I think Jesus loves me at the end of this time. It is a shortened time. I think it's only like 18 weeks that this program is, but it wasn't very expensive on their um, platform. I think it was like around 40 or $50. So it wasn't too bad for that. And then um, another thing that we have received from Timberdoodle on the blog team is a uh, vocal gym and so it's kind of like it's an online platform where she will watch a video and um kind of practice what they are talking about some sometimes answering questions and things so um that is through for seventh through twelfth graders and i will link it timber doodles link down below um timber doodle is a great company that has so many choices of curriculum so i would definitely check them out down below. Um, she will continue with her piano lessons uh, each week and then we haven't signed her up yet but she has plans to do theater class um, at a local place. They do uh, weekly theater rehearsals and then they will do a production like late fall early winter. So that I think is everything for seventh grade. I hope I didn't miss anything but that is pretty much our plan for the seventh grade year. Um, we are excited, like she especially has been like, I'm so glad that we started school. So um, that has been great <laughs> that we um, are back in the routine and she's just like excited about it. I don't know how long that will last, but I am excited that it's happening right now. So um, let me know if you have any questions or if you need any flip throughs of any of this curriculum. I will be posting some um, some flip fruit throughs, I know a vocal gym and science IQ, um, but let me know if you need anything else and I hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for uh, my other grades of curriculum picks. Thanks. Mm -hmm.